Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips. And on the desk today, we're having a look at this Zoe ZT5566SE digital desktop multimeter and Bluetooth speaker. Yeah, not Bluetooth speaker, but hey cool. This was kindly sent to us from Zoe um, Instruments or Zotec Instruments, Zotec Multimeters. So thank you very much for sending this in for review, much appreciated. But before we start, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, join Facebook, join Patreon, have a look at my website, microchips.net. Links will be below for these units. And let's get started. So let's have a look what's in the box. So yeah, it's um, quite a big unit. These look like substantial meter probes. Small but comprehensive instruction book. Okay, let's take it out of the box and have a look. So it does feel quite, quite well constructed. It's quite heavy. But if it's got speakers in there, then you would expect this. But it's got some feet on the front where you can alter the angle of the display, which is nice. QR code for the app. We've got the charging and we've got the um, the clock functions on the back. And there's our charging cable, our USB charging cable. And let's have a look at these meter leads. So they are quite long which is nice so you can have the meter on your bench and work on whatever you're working on so button on the negative probe we'll find out what that's about in a minute obviously the cover you can take off to expose the longer probe the leads feel not silicony but not overly plasticky so time will tell on um, how these survive but they do feel good so there's our positive and negative connections as you can see the negative connection has a an extra part for the switch so just have a quick look through the, the instruction book so 20 amps on DC we can read there and apparently that switch is for the voice broadcast that broadcasts whatever you are reading at the time. So the meter does all the usuals, what you'd expect. AC, DC, millivolts, frequency, ohms, capacitance, diode, continuity. And let's have a look in the battery compartment. See what's in there. And we're greeted by a couple of 18650 lithium ion batteries, which are replaceable, so that's nice. Always like to see replaceable batteries on a unit. It means that, you know, should these batteries die in a few years' time, we can go to a, a known website such as Fogstar, something like that. We'll grab ourselves some batteries. So let's peel off the protective covers of the displays. Oh yes, wasn't that nice? Yeah, very nice. Actually looks like quite a presentable unit. So we'll switch it on with a button at the back. We've got a nice big display and we've also got the clock display on the right hand side with a charging indicator, temperature and the volume and the range selection. So if you didn't want it on auto range you can manually select the range with that. But that's also like I say doubles up as the Bluetooth audio and the voice playback audio 
um, volume control. So, nice big clear display. Very fast response time on it. So that's very nice. I believe this has the um, near enough 20,000 counts, I think it is. So yeah, should be nice and responsive whilst measuring. So I've downloaded the app using the QR code. We've paired it up. And as you can see, we are reading on our phone. And we've also got a, a plotter graph as well. Now let's have a look at its accuracy against my bench power supply and my fluke meter. So I'm going to just get the probe onto my clock, clock clip. Yep, nice. We can't see the extra digit on the fluke, but 12.02 matches beautifully. Very nice. So yeah, seems to be accurate enough on the voltage there. That's nice. Let's do a resistance check. So I've left it on auto ranging for this. We're 270 ohm resistor. And because we're in the kilo ohm range. Kilo ohm. Because we're in the kilo ohm range, it's reading 0.275k, which is correct for 270 ohm. Now let's read this 10 microfarad capacitor. Yep, close enough. 9.6, close enough. Nine point six zero microfarad. Okay, all good there. As you can see, that's a ten microfarad capacitor, so no issues there at all. Now you on the app we've got options for pausing the logging. So if we wanted to use this as a as a data logger, voltage logger, we can do that with it. So yeah, nice function for the app. Now let's have a listen to the Bluetooth audio. Yeah, sounds okay. Not too bad at all from its two speakers. Let's have a look at current. So 3.2 from my bench supply. Very nice. Yeah, all good there. Let's have a quick look inside. So all the magic seems to be happening behind the front panel. So we've got a temperature for the temperature there. That gold squiggle in the corner must be the Bluetooth antenna. A couple of meaty ceramic fuses, a couple of relays in there. There's the buzzer. Some opto couplers there by the looks of it. Can see some regulators, but yeah, very nicely put together. Not too bad at all. And in the back there, there must be the housing for the speakers. And behind, we'd have the battery compartment and the board for the rear buttons. We won't bother taking those apart. So let's read some components on a board. So I found a diode there, just in diode test. And yep, fine. 0 0.6 drop, no problem. Let's see if it'll read this disk capacitor in circuit. Yeah, should be 47. 50 is good enough for a ceramic. No problem there at all. As we know, reading things in circuit can always be a little bit inaccurate due to the other components around it. 50.30 nanofarad. Hmm, okay. Yeah, all good. Now the frequency um, counterpart of it. 0.000 kilohertz. 
That's a 1k signal outputting from the oscilloscope meter, and it's reading 1 kilohertz. Bang on. Very nice. So we're back on the bench supply again with voltage. DC voltage 9.198 volts. Okay, all good. Well, it seems to do exactly what you would expect. And last continuity, nice and responsive beeper. No problems there at all. So yeah, overall, quite impressed with this. It is a budget meter, it's quite affordable. It does everything you would expect for a meter. It's responsive, nice clear display, some nice functions. Obviously the app for the phone is handy as well. Bluetooth speaker, yeah, if you want a bit of music in your workshop, that's fine. But overall, yeah, I think I'm quite impressed with this. It's quite a nice meter and I shall definitely be using it in, in my videos. So thanks for Zoya for sending this in. Much appreciated. And that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, join Facebook group, join Patreon, buy me a coffee, have a look at my website. Links for this meter will be in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.